1648, King Charles was in flight from the wrath of Cromwell and his roundheads. Only two men remained faithful, risking certain death by their fidelity to the crown. One was the sole descendant of a great historical English dynasty. His name, Sir Edmund Blackadder. The other was the sole descendant of an unfortunate meeting between a pig farmer <laughs> and a bearded lady. History has, quite rightly, forgotten his name. Good evening, citizen. I am Oliver Cromwell. My men have surrounded your house. And I have forgotten my line. <laughs> That's an extraordinary thing to say, Mr. Cromwell. I know. <laughs> it's funny, because people think I'm a Burke. <laughs> And then he didn't say but. <laughs> it's very good up to there, though. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> it's the wig. <coughs> <coughs> And be chopping. First cue is to type the turnip. Second cue will be for speech. Okay, here we go. My proud beauty. You won't mind if my men come in from the cold, will you? Men, come in from the cold, will you? <laughs> now, we should all have a cup of milk by your fireside. All right, but don't touch the purple cup. Why not? That's the king's. <laughs> It matches the black currant bush he's hiding in. <laughs> oh, bother. I'll give you two guesses. <laughs> Not guilty. One more guess. <laughs> I'll give you two guesses. <laughs> Not guilty. One more guess. <laughs> Thank you. Onwards. Hmm. Measly civil war in the entire history of England, and I'm on the wrong bloody side. <laughs> Something wrong, sir? Yes, Baldrick, yes, sir. Is. Don't you realize if the king dies, we royalists are doomed? We will enter a hideous age of puritanism. They'll close all the theatres, lace hankies for men will be illegal. <laughs> now, and I won't... Oh, shiza. the entire history of England and I'm